Hello, everyone. Welcome back. God, you guys are excited, huh? Mitch, uh, what gives you the belief that this year uh, things will be better, uh, more successful team? Well, I think just every year we just build more trust within each other. Um, obviously, every year we grow older and wiser, and um, you know, I've gone through some obviously tough experiences with each other. But just as a group, um, you know, I don't think we let it really weigh on us too much. We realize that it's a new season; it's a new opportunity for us to show who we are again. Um, we're excited for it. Um, you know, everyone's in looking great on the ice, looking great in shape. So um, we're excited to get the puck drop. Mitch, uh, what was it like from your vantage point to see, um, you know, the change at the GM position a lot, you know, after the season? Nothing you can do about it, but what is it like for you to see it play out and how are things been with, uh, with Brad? Yeah, um, I mean, for us, I think, you know, you, you play for one another in that locker room, you play for everyone in that locker room, you play for everyone, you know, that's supporting our team. So um, if anything like that happens, you know, you sometimes feel that you could have done more or, you know, tried to do more and, um, you know, but like, uh, like I just said, I think our focus now is on here, who we have in this locker room. Um, you know, we trust everyone in that locker room. We have a lot of faith in everyone in that locker room and, um, you know, got a lot of faith in Brad too. He's got a lot of belief in this group, so we're excited about it. Um, we know we got a special team. We just got to keep building every single day to keep getting better and, you know, trust in one another to be the best we can be every night. Mitch, what's your opinion of the new guys, specifically uh, the possibility uh, of Tyler being on the line, of uh, Domi coming in, and uh, what uh, what Ryan Reeves could add to the dressing room? Yeah, I think all guys we added are great. Um, you know, I'll bring a a lot of kind of piss and vinegar or snot, I guess everyone's been saying, um, but. You know, all, all, all the guys we brought in have been very vocal. Um, they've all been great in the locker room. They all bring a lot of energy. Um, all bring kind of different skills to our team that have, you know, we're very excited to see on the ice. Obviously, you know, Revo brings a lot of energy. He's going to be a guy that's going to be going out there to crash and bang and get around the net and, you know, create havoc. Um, you know, Max and, and Bird are both two guys that can play anywhere up and down the lineup with a lot of skill, a lot of pace in their game, make a lot of plays around the net, and um, we're excited for it. They're, all three guys have been, you know, great in this locker room for the last weeks or so, and um, we're excited to see them, you know, kind of get really with the team and start actually doing some, you know, formal skates. Mitch, you guys have had one of the top power plays consistently the last number of years, and I'm just wondering, with, with Spencer going uh, to Washington in the offseason, do, do you anticipate a, a different look there, or how are you kind of approaching that entering the season? Well, I think for us, you know, we don't want to change too much. I think, you know, in all honesty, I think with the group we have on the ice for power plays, we got a lot of skill and can create a lot of things on that ice. And, um, you know, sometimes maybe we get a little too off topic with creativity and stuff like that. But... I think, um, you know, with Guy coming in, he's done a great job so far talking with everyone and just getting an understanding of what, you know, he would like to see on the power play, but still for us just being, you know, using our creative mind and, um, you know, still kind of just letting our skills take over. And um, I'm sure during, obviously, the training camp, we're going to get more into kind of power play stuff and see how it's going to go. But um, just so far talking with Guy, he's, he's been amazing. And, you know, the kind of mindset he's coming in with is, has been very good to see from my, my aspect. Uh, Mitch, we've all seen what happened, what's, what's unfolded, in, <clears throat> excuse me, what's unfolded in, in Columbus the last week. I'm just wondering, when you were with Mike Babcock, did he ever ask to see your phone or did he ever ask you to share personal pictures when he was with the Maple Leafs? Yeah, um, I mean, I don't really want to comment on that too much. You know, whatever happened, happened. It's back in the day with me and myself when I was just, and, you know, everyone here. So it's not about, um, he's not with our team anymore. Obviously, my focus isn't on any other team or any other person. My focus is on the Toronto Maple Leafs Hockey Club and um, who we have around us as human beings. Hi, Mitch. I'm wondering, when you, when you get a player like Ryan Reeves, when you add a player like him, uh, such a kind of an intimidating presence, does that give the other forwards a little more confidence that that you're not going to be picked on? Um, I mean, probably, yeah. It definitely probably will start hitting you kind of during the season. But, um, you know, I think just with Revo coming in, obviously what I just talked about is 
he's going to bring that, you know, every night energy that is just going to be for everyone around him, you know, just just positive energy that makes you want to play as hard as you can too. And just seeing him go out every shift, um, you know, throwing his body around, getting up and down the ice, just being vocal on the bench, um, you know, it does bring a lot to your team in the locker room as well. So I think we, we have a, a great already group of guys that are vocal, that are very talkative, that keeps the energy positive. But to just add on to that, um, it's always beneficial and always helps.